Welcome everyone. In this informational video, we are going to learn how to access uh, auxiliary signals like IPCMD and IQCMD uh, in inverter based uh, renewable uh, generators like BES and PV plants. Let's jump on to PSSE. Here we have PSSC 34. In this, we have a small system where we have a battery connected to the rest of the system. And for this purpose, the um, dynamic models we have selected are the uh, generic second generation uh, VEC models. So if you see here uh, what we have, we have this electrical control and within this electrical control, you see the all the different electrical control uh, for a best plant. So now if you want to access uh, uh, these uh, electrical controls signals like IPCMD or IP command or IQ command, how we can do that? For that purpose, if you have a generic model or even you have a user defined model, what you need to do is you need to go into the documentation of that specific model. So in this case, we will go to the uh, documentation of here. So if I go to my electrical model here, we have used this model and by the way you can find this in the uh, in your uh, drive where you have installed uh, um, PSSE and within this there is a PDF known as uh, model library or model.pdf if you go into that uh, PDF file you are going to find this so here it explains me uh, what do we have uh, in terms of what, what kind of data we have to provide uh, uh, for the icons similarly for the cons and Similarly, the states and what in PSSE, what you can do is you can plot these states as well as VARs. So for in my case, my area of interest is this real command IPCMD and IQCMD. So if I want to plot these two values, I need to note down these two. So for this particular case, I have if I take L plus two and L plus three. These are going to give me the values of IPCMD and IQCMD. So how I can get these values? So you go to your PSSE from the dynamics, you go to your docu and within docu, I would like to check all the models for bus number five. So once I do this and press go, all the data related to my bus number 5 all the models connected to bus number 5 are going to come here so let's check for the electrical model which in my case is RWE CCU1 RWE CCU1 so here there are two icons which ranges from 2 to 6 cons states and these are my bars so here L is basically equal to uh, my first war 5 L plus 1 is going to be 6, L plus 2 is going to be 7 and L plus 8 is going to be 8. So I need L plus 2 and L plus uh, 3. We can again check from here. If you see, we need L plus 2 and L plus 3, right? So now how you can select this? For in order to select this, you go to this, select VAR or state channel selection. You click on this. So I am interested in VAR and in which specific war I am interested in? I am interested in L plus 2. So 5, 6, 7. L plus 2 is going to be 7. And what is it? It's IP CMT. So I am going to give the description name so that it becomes easy for me to identify. When I press go, within the progress window, it should say that this has been selected. In the same way, my other is L plus 3, which means 8. And this is going to be IQ CMD press go once you press close if you go to progress you see two channels have been added if you want to see the channel what you need to do is you go to your data you go to your channels and see these channels have been selected so when you perform dynamic simulation now you can plot these IP CMD and IQ CMD signal as well